Salutations, cosmonaut. Welcome back. Let's get into this pirating business. What do you say? So when we last left off, we were given the task for deep cover. Before Adler, Kemp will trust us, you know, the German guy, uh, trust me enough to join the Crimson Fleet. He wants me to do a favor for him, namely to shake down a deadbeat named Carl Fielding. Carl is somewhere near the Deimos Minor, uh, Miner's Quarters deep in Sidonia. So that is what we're going to do. That is currently highlighted for our quest. So the marker is leading us down here. So let's go. Uh, might as well use the scanners to make sure I'm going the right way. The scanner tells me to go that way. Maybe it's a roundabout way. Let's go. Let's take a look around real quick with the scanner. Yeah, I can highlight people. All right. I'm sure when we're out about looking for resources. Excuse me! Try to cut through. Don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your equipment. When we're trying to find, like, resources and stuff. Oh, we got to go down here. Yeah, when we're looking for research stuff, that scanning's probably be gonna be real uh, invaluable. Yeah, when I first landed here, I thought this was gonna be like a pirate base, but no, this is just another international sort of thing. What's going? So confusing. All right, so obviously we're gonna go down these stairs, yes? Yes. Whoa, this place opens up. So this is where all the cargo must come in and gets uh, offloaded and un unloaded. And I also, of course, would mention uh, that uh, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for giving my channel a chance. I really appreciate it. I love you so much. There he is. I found him. But before we talk to him, let's take a quick gander around this area. The center on P1 is a good place to connect with others or fulfill any spiritual needs you may have. Oh, there's a spiritual component to this station. What are they looking at? I'm so nervous. Oh, they're just chit chatting. No? It's like a water cooler chat without the water cooler. Oh, look at this guy. Is that an ecto suit or a robot? The certified Deimos mining robot is forbidden. I would not recommend it unless you wish to test flying to them. All right, so let's talk to our guy. Something I can help you with? Okay, so I'm here to collect the credits you owe Adam Kepler. Straight to the point. Adam Kepler sent me to teach you a lesson. That means I'm going to just kill him. Nope, sorry, I thought... No. All right, so let's go with this one. Collect the credits. Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? Oh, you're gonna play dumb with me, I is. Adler is serious about the debt, so I suggest you pay quickly. I really don't have time to play games. Uh, what? Uh, play what games? You're obviously confusing me with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun. I don't know about you, but I think he's not taking me seriously. That felt like a dismissal. Well, it's been nice knowing you. I'll go back and tell Adler you said, well, it's been nice knowing you. I'm sure your funeral will be, will be lovely. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, hey, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? <laughs> oh, wait. You mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> of course you did. I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. <laughs> I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Yeah, I don't think he's going to be happy with that. Not, that's not good enough. I don't think Adler is going to be satisfied with that option. Pay now or Deimos will be sending your corpse in a casket. Who's Deimos? Is that Adler's last name? Uh, let's go with this option. I mean, we're trying to reason with this guy for right now. Yeah, I don't think Adler's going to be satisfied with you uh, with that option. Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay, he can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know, right? Perhaps he's already been through enough. We got a mission here, Sarah. What do you want me to do? By the way, your beard looks great. Yeah, this game does a really good job with facial hair. Alright, um... Promise this stuff. What? And up? No! No! Come on, man. Adler said he's spending money on booze. Uh, persuade? Yeah, this is probably what I'm going to do. Attack? That probably means I have to kill him, right? Well, let's inquire a little bit further. Why are you hurting so badly with credits? I'm a miner for Deimos. It's not what I was hoping for out of life. 
here I am. Yeah, it's a lousy company. It pays me a salary. But I depend on the profit-sharing bonuses to keep food on the table for my family. Okay. His family, huh? Adler thinks she spent... Um, yeah, booze. I don't know why I believe Adler over this guy. Maybe because he tried to play dumb with me at first, like I'm, like I'm stupid or something. Let's go with this option for now. Adler thinks she spent the money on booze. Hey, 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 now wait a second. Just because things are tough, and I might be spending my afternoons at the Spear, it doesn't mean I don't care about my family. That's not what I said. Adler doesn't get to judge me. No, he's just a low-life pirate who thinks he can push everyone around. No, that's not what I said, man. Said that you've been spending money on booze. Nothing to do with your family, man. If you're really hard up for cash, why are you spending money, any money on booze at all? Okay, so I guess I'm left with this. Alright, um, yeah, no way I'm paying 3,000 credits for someone I don't know. Are you crazy? I don't want to kill him, so let's try persuading him. What games? What was that noise? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. To persuade a person, you need to make a successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distraction to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance to, uh, chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn when you succeed. Points? What do you mean points? Points towards successful persuasion, maybe? You have a limited number of choices you can make? Oh, maybe I have more than one chance. But you can never fail if your last chance succeeds. Okay, cool. Two, three, four, four. Three turns. Auto persuade. Um, yeah, the gambler me wants me to do this. Pay up, if not, for the sake of your family. You're dead, man. If you don't pay back, surely you know someone who can cover your debt. Is this really worth the risk? You could always make the money back. So this is the safer choice. Plus two. Can I cheese? Uh, can I uh, save scum? No. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um. Yeah, I have no points spent towards persuasion. I don't remember if my um, backstory gave me free persuasion. Oh well, anyway, I'm gonna go with the safer choice. So, is this really worth the risk? You could always make the money back. Sure. Oh, I, I guess I, I succeeded. I could ask for a seven day shift. I don't know. Oh, the points. Okay, so points. I have to earn four points in order to persuade him. I got two turns left. That means I have to be successful in the next two turns if I go with the plus one option here. Plus four is a risk, but I'm going to burn a turn. And then that means the next uh, choices I make, I have to get at least a plus two. All right, I'm going to stick with the safer options here. Pay up, if not for you. Um, there's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? Come on, you must have some rainy day money stashed away somewhere. Now, let's go with this one. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? Yeah. Got it. I hope so. All right, so now I just need a plus one. So there's no reason for me to go with these here. I'm sure there's a way we can both walk away happy. That sounds good. Come on, you must have... I already said that. All right, I'm going to go with this option. I yes! So. Please, tell Adla I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Don't worry, I didn't forget. All right, so it looks like I do have that perk for... um. That's P. And that was under social, right? Yeah, I do have some persuasion here. 10% increased chance when succeeding. Uh, success when persuading. 20, 30, 50. Okay. And this, I need to succeed in three speech challenges and I get to get rank two. So when I unlock rank two, do I get it automatically or do I have to spend a perk point? I could have swore that I spent something and upgraded it somewhere. Oh, well. All right. Let's tell Adler what's up. Wait a minute, why am I going through this door? Did I come down here this way? Central hub. Hold on. Hold on! Yeah. So I guess this is the way I gotta go. I, don't I thought I just went down some stairs. Where the bloody hell am I? Oh, this is just another way, I guess. Yeah, this is the shipping area that we looked at just a moment ago. Or do I have me go the other way then? Oh well, doesn't matter. Look at this sculpture. It's 
It's weird how they have these little hubs for news. Maybe it's like propaganda or something. Look at this fabulous woman. How you doing, citizen? Treats! 90 credits. Oh, we went in there before. Let's go, Sarah. So it looks like there's mods already coming out for this game. Like there's a DLSS mod right now, but I kind of don't trust stuff like that. Maybe I'll see the reviews, see if it's worth it. Preaching to the choir, sister. Have something for me? Yeah, it's all here. Not yet. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's here. There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He was holding out on you in he the end. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Dude, anything from here from here on out is not my problem. I thought getting the money would be enough. Nope, he got the message. Nice. Nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. I reasoned with the man. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my uh, associates? The Crimson Fleet? Yeah. If you think they can't, no. This is like self-doubt. Yeah, I'm interested. I don't know, maybe. Uh, who exactly are your associates, my man? If you haven't figured that out, oh, now, then bitch. maybe you aren't cut out for our line of work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. If, yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested? Come on. You're not shopping for real estate here. I'm offering you a crack at some real money. I like money. So can you handle it or what? Yeah. What the hell? I can't choose like a confident choice. I gotta choose the self that one. Well, if you think they can. Oh, this. I misread this. This is very confident. If you think they can handle me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Sarah about. Sarah like that. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh. And I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in front of Ooh, do I get to keep it? How much money did I get? I didn't hear what you said. All right! Europa. I think that's another neighboring moon, right? Rendezvous with the Astra in Europa. Uh. Cool. I want to see the shooting range, the people that are shooting out here. Whoa! Scared me, man. Sidonia. And there was also like a structure next door too. I want to look at that. Go. It's night time. Are they still shooting? So if I remember correctly, it was over. In this There's another ship over there. I want to look at me map. I want to look at the surface map. Okay, this is explored. What does this look? speak with Trevor? Check out. Oh, do I have like another mission here? Check out my ship's inventory. Okay. And there's these neighboring things. You guys feel like doing a little bit of exploring? Let's go here. Can I mark it somehow? There's no way to mark the map. All right, I'm going to hit this place up, and if it's not cool, I'll probably still look at the other stuff. All right, M for map. Is it on my cup? Yeah, it's on my compass. Oh, was I just looking at... Hmm. I guess I don't quite have the hang of, um... Navigating or how the little compass thing works. I was hoping it would show it on my map. Or my compass. Okay, so the shooting range was like... Around in this area, I thought. Didn't I jump over this and hop, skip it, a jump? Maybe it's over here. Jump to reserve oxygen. Yeah, it's over here. Maybe it's like a shooting contest. Maybe I could win a prize. A teddy bear for Sarah. Fancy shooting going on. Hey, man. 
Uh, maybe this is just for a scenery. Can I take their ammo? Oh, these are marines. Civilians like you should keep to the city interior and not interfere with our training. Any clue how irresponsible you're acting right now? What? I'm shooting at a target. I think I'm acting very responsible. I could be shooting the marines. Solar panels. I'll take the med packs. <laughs> Maybe I won't be exploring. Cause I'm not even sure I'm going. I know that's I'm going towards my ship, which I can fast travel to. Surface map. I'm so curious as to what this is, but I can't like mark it or something. All right then. I'm just gonna check out what that one point of interest was and then come back. I guess it'd be faster just to fast travel to my ship, huh? I'm still getting used to these buttons. Um, was it just holding... There was like a hotkey to travel to my ship or do I have to do that from the map? Fast travel to the ship. Oh, you gotta do it from here. Oh, I'm in my ship. I want to exit my ship. I'm glad that's pretty fast. Now does it show up on... Yeah, now it shows up on my compass. There it is. No, that's my ship. I keep confusing it. Yeah, these things don't show up on my... um On my map. On my compass. Like, there's structures out here and stuff. Is it worth the time investment to go exp explore this thing? Maybe I'm not at a point yet. I mean, um, until I actually actively start looking for like resources and things, this is just like satisfying curiosity more than anything. And I gotta, I gotta keep some kind of momentum in these episodes. All right, we're just gonna go. And I gotta remember that I can just go straight to my cockpit. I didn't have to actually enter like that. off. Oh yeah. Hope the scientist back in Atlantis is uh, patient. All right, so I guess we're going. I guess I could have opened up. Um, I gotta figure this out. What's show resources? Oh, yeah. Okay. Fracking stations and stuff. Lead. All right. Uh, I said it was a solar system. I didn't even have to leave this area. It's right here. All right. So I guess I want to set the course. X. Travel. Boom. Oh, so if you're within the same solar system, it automatically travels for you. Look who finally had a gut to show up. Looks like Adler finally did something right for once. I just... Okay, what am I accepting? So, big shot. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Damn right I am. Adler said that. I didn't know he cared. Didn't I already prove myself? No. Damn right I am. Your life on that? Because the only way out of our organization is with a warhead up your grab drive. Does that mean she's level 20? So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. Okay. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. Cool. There's a medical supply ship called the Ragana. 
jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor oh, man. Austin Rick. I want him dead. Okay. Consider done. Let me think about it. What options do I have to what options do I have to complete the job? Why not hunt down a medical supply ship? Why not a ship with some actual loot? This job isn't about the loot. But I suppose every dog needs its scraps. Keep whatever worthless junk is on that ship. Just remember, the only thing that matters is that Rake dies. Hopefully I can find an option of not having to kill him. Alright, consider it done. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. So that's the notorious Nova Mora. I have to say, if she's the finest that the Crimson Fleet has to offer, joining them might be a terrible mistake. Okay. Why do you want Austin Rake dead? How can you be certain that Austin Rake is, is under Ghana? Yeah, why do you want him dead? She's gonna say none of your business. Rake used to run with the fleet. Or not. Hell, I'm the one who vouched for him in the first place. Former pirate, huh? Back then he had a different name and a different identity. He was a damn good earner, too. Brought in a ton of creds. Everything was fine until he wanted out. So he ran. And nobody, I mean, nobody, runs away from the fleet. I, w I think you can actually join the Crimson Fleet. Can I become like the pirate captain? That'd be kind of cool. I wonder how Sarah would feel about that. Uh, how can you be certain that us? Yeah. How certain you that he's? How certain are you that he's on the Regana? I've been tracking Rick for months. He's making it tough. Not gonna lie. He changes his location and identity so often it's costing me a small fortune just to keep tabs. But you know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's made me look like a fool in front of Delgado. I'm gonna have his head on a pike. You know, since he's a pirate, or a former pirate, he's probably killed a lot of people, so if I have to kill him, I'm not gonna feel too bad. But I don't wanna disappoint Sarah. Okay, so we're heading over here. Oh, this game is so much fun. So is he in the solar system? Yeah, he's right here. So let's go. Set the course! It's course set. Oh, I gotta actually click on the planet here. Now course set. Now travel. Zoom, zoom! This is Dmitry Moldavsky, pilot of the Ragana. We are a simple transport ship heading to New Homestead. We do not want any trouble. So I could fire on them or... Okay, let's see if we can persuade them. Then boy, I do have some bad news for you. You have a crewman on board I'm looking for. Oh, maybe I could get them to hand him over. Uh, looks like trouble found you. You've drawn the attention of the Crimson Fleet. Kind of like a warning. Attack. I could kill them. Which is not out... All right, so um, there's probably a crap load of innocent people here, so I don't want to blow up the ship. All right, you have a crewman on board I'm looking for. All right. And what are your intentions with this crewman? Sister, if the fleet wants Aston Rick dead, I'd like, to, I'd like to board your ship and talk about how to spare him. Okay, this is obviously what I'm going to do, Crimson Fleet. Is, is this faction points or something? Crimson Fleet, here's what's going to happen. You're going to open your hatch, and I'm, go and I'm going on board. I only have one... Demand kill Austin Rake, do that, and I'll let you go. Well, if they kill him, I kind of want the loot on board, though. Attack, wrong answer. Choices between the first two. Kind of wish I had, a, I, I had like a pair of dice on me <laughs> to, to decide for me. All right, so you see this stuff. This is the undercover stuff I'm doing. Crimson Fleet, if I want to join the Crimson Fleet, probably. Kind of like being a pirate, though. And I was forced to do this stuff. Can I get both done? I wonder how this is going to affect my game. All right, let, let's go with the Crimson Fleet option. Well, this might lead to killing everybody. Or no, this is going to lead them to resist. This uh, has them more likely of letting me on board. Oh, God. I do not want to 
not know. Well, normally I would say no, but frankly it will be safer for us that way. All right, you can dock. We will talk then. Awesome, I get to check out the ship too. I guess I'm automatically docking. Oh, nope. I thought I turned my speed off. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I wish I could play the ship in third person. Okay, I guess I'm close enough to dock. Target lock R. Ah, <laughs> so awesome. The underbelly of our sheep. All right, board. You back me up, sir? Yep. Hey, guys. I brought the nachos. I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. Yeah, you should. I don't know who's listening over comms. This is safer. I wanted to make sure there wasn't any real loot on board. <laughs> just tell me which one to use, Austin Rake. No, let's go to the first option. I don't know who's listening to our comms. This is safer. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? Yusef, the fleet want Rake dead, but I want to resolve this without violence. Yes, wanted. Austin Rake want is one of the criminal... Is a wanted criminal like me, either you kill him or I kill you. Persuade! Austin Rake is a Crimson Fleet pirate. Kill him and I let you go. I can get them to kill him. That could be fun to watch. But I'd have to persuade... You know, I should do this. I need uh, the persuasion points. This is probably the simplest solution. Let's go with this one. You are asking me to betray my own crew. I guess that's true. Plus six. Rake is a pirate. He doesn't... Okay... Should I go with the number two or number one? Rake means nothing. You kill him and you're free. Don't be a fool. The Crimson Fleet are not to be messed with. Yeah, this one. I do not even Ooh. know if you are with them. Usually they are not one to talk. I felt it. If I felt all of it, I'm going to have to kill them, huh? All right, let's try number two. Rake means nothing. Do you kill him and you're free? I uh. do not have to know him. He's a member of my crew. That is enough to spare his life. Wow. I only have one turn left. I have to go for like four. Oh god! I need a lot here. I got one turn after this one, so I I can't choose this one then. All right, well, let's go here. We go with plus four with a slightly better chance. Rake is a pirate. He doesn't deserve your mercy. Whoever he was before, he is a member of my crew now. Come on, Dimitri. Enough talk. Let's just kill this fool while we have the numbers. Oh, okay. They attacked me. Shotgun! Shotgun! Oh! I have no you. cover! Boom! Oh yeah, shotgun feels good! Stop pushing me! Whoop. Duck! Load! Yeah, just stand there, stupid! Have you taken leave of your senses? Rake was your target. I didn't sign on to this voyage to take part in mass murder. Was I not supposed to kill Rake? I'm sorry. Alright, let's loot. Wrong button. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. I'm taking everything, woman. Yeah, I don't think uh, she's gonna be one of my love interests. Kraken, I wonder what that is. Which one is, um, Rake? Dimitri, that was the captain. Settler. Or did I shoot through here and kill him? I guess I'm about to kill this guy in cold blood. Inaccessible. How do I get in here then? Or maybe I can't. Ah! I bet all the loot's back here. No, that's holding cells and stuff. Stress reduction procedure. Aw, oh, man. I want to get in there. 
I guess you have to have like hacking skills or something to get in here, man. Let me look at my perks just to verify. Well, maybe I didn't look deep enough, but everything I anything close to hacking was like um it was for like lock or the lock picking or whatever. This cannot be open. Maybe I'm just not meant to get back there. I know you can still ship, so maybe that they're doing this so I can't get like a easy ship to get. Do you hate me? My contact is in Vanguard recruiting. So Bye bye. Bye bye. And I could have went straight to the cockpit again, but oh well. I will remember one of these days. Ah, well, they attacked me first. I tried to talk them out of it. So I don't feel bad. Alright, so let's get out of here. We're going back to Europa. Cannot travel while. Oh, I'm docked. Duh. I'm stupid. All right, let's undock. Get a little pretty cutscene. Okay, now we could do this. Now I should be able to do this and travel. Okay, we fighting. We're getting close. Oh no, that's my. Oh no, I'm, I'm shooting these. Direct hits, man. Oh yeah, this is good. Oh, I'm taking whole damage. How do I repair? Oh, wrong. Bo oh, Q does that. Oh. Hard to keep track on these. So if I get the upgrade uh, t for auto targeting, will I automatically just keep keep target? Oh, they're gonna mess me up. Shield is offline. Okay, I'm on lock. Send a missile. Locking lock. G. G. Boom. I have my holes coming back up, or my shield rather. Do I kill this one? Or is that the. Or maybe I got a board. I know you just gotta get close. I'm definitely more than close enough. Maybe I just gotta blow it up. Man, I feel like such a noob. I don't know what to do. Okay, so I turn on my scanner and it says Hail to Astrea. Right there. The question is, I don't know how to hail. I'm just pressing E. That does like... Oh, right. Alright, now I see it. I had to target it, I guess. Thanks for the help with the cliptic. I had it under control. But it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Alright, cool. Uh, Austin Rick is dead. The crew is dead. Yeah. Who exactly is the ecliptic? Why were you attacked by the ecliptic? Yeah. You know what? I have no idea, and it's frustrating the hell out of me. I suppose I could have pissed off someone I screwed over in the past, but there's been so many, I've lost count. Damn dirty pirates. Alright, who exactly is the ecliptic? Is that another crew? Mercenary. Oh. Guns for hire that shoot their own parents if they were paid enough. I'll tell you, we do a hell of a lot of dirty work in the Crimson Fleet. But we'd never sell away our souls like an ecliptic merc does. The Wagner Group. Hope she gives me a chance to loot all the stuff I uh, that's floating out here. Alright, well, he's dead. The crew's dead. Good work, Rook. Quick, clean, and no witnesses. As far as we know. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> You want it into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Wasn't that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. Ooh, poor girl. If you screw up, and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. <laughs> Stand in line. Oh, yeah? 
Uh, space scoundrel, that's me. Why send a person? I'd rather have you come after me. Ooh, we flirting. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> you screw up bad enough, and I just might. And now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. Sounds good. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Well, we're in. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Alright, let's go collect my uh, loot. Oh, I'm going to the planet. Oh no, the loot disappeared! It's gone! Oh no, it's not. It's right here. Faster! I'm going to keep my ship centered. Slow it down. I'm trying to finesse this. Get a little closer. Stop! How do I loot it? Maybe I gotta scan it. Or not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you gotta scan it to, um... To, uh, make your choices. Uh, it wasn't that obvious for me, man. It took me forever to figure out how to hail. I'm sure we got quest prompts, or prompts to tell us how to do it, but... Maybe I just missed it. Alright, more loot! I didn't even see what I looted, man. I should check. And I, was, I should also see how to store things in my... Ah! In my hold. Target. Okay, when you target, I think... No. There we go. Copper ship parts. You need ship parts to uh, repair your ship. I think there was only two out here, right? I think that's it, yeah. Okay, so let me get out of my seat. And see if I know how to, if I can figure out how to put stuff in storage. I didn't see that when I did a cursory look at this place. So if storage was anywhere, came in from here, maybe storage is up here. Maybe this is it. Oh, cargo hold, yeah. Is that all the stuff that's in my cargo hold? I think it is. Are you sure you want to take all? No. Inventory, cute. Alright, now let's unload stuff I don't need. Wow, look at this suit, man. This is much, uh... It's huge upgrade for, uh, compared to what I have. And... That looks like what I had before. It's epic quality. Oh, the airborne radiation is really high. I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna switch this as, to my main, even though I like skinny. Even though that looks better. Alright, that's it. Moving on. Slowly but surely, I'm picking away at how to play this game. I hope I'm not frustrating too many of you guys out there. Fumbling around. Alright, since we got a handle on how to do this. Alright, let's go. I think I actually want to go on a planet. Welcome to Mars. All right, we misjumped, but I think we're close enough to where or not. We want to go to Phobos. This is Phobos, but oh, we want to go to the here. Yeah. All right, there she is. I'm guessing we're gonna dock. What's all these UC uh, defense planes here doing here? All right, let's get closer. Try not to hit the ship there, Boda. All right, I guess we're gonna dock. <laughs> so cool. Right, let's board. So can I Shame actually start my undercover? The colonies built such an impressive ship for battle, instead of using it for exploration. Yeah, yeah. 
I had a friend on the Pagana. If I had my way, I'd space whoever killed him. Ooh. Are we official on a pirate ship? Well, thanks for the escort there. Get in here, Sarah. Ah, whatever. Do what Commander Ikande says and you'll go far. Oh, shoot. I thought I was going to the pirate ship. I might have had the wrong quest. Um, if we keep having casualties, it's going to be tough. There you are. I want answers and I want them right now. Oh. We intercepted your exchange with the Ragana. What the hell possessed you to kill those innocent people? I tried to reason with them, I swear. Wanted, you knew who I was when you brought me on. Don't act surprised. I had no choice. A few lives is a small price. I'm the one risking my neck out there. What the hell did you expect me to do? Uh, which is the most accurate depiction, depiction here? Uh, okay, I had no choice. You represent UC system. Which means you always have a choice. I try to reason with the man. I realize you have a role to play, but you have to be better than those pirates. Commander Ikande's right. During this operation, you're going to constantly be facing choices. How you deal with them defines which side you favor. <sighs> now I have to waste precious time smoothing this over with Mast. Make up excuses, perhaps even lie on my reports. You dirty bastard. <laughs> Let me make this crystal clear. You do what you can to stay in the fleet, but it's not a license to kill. That is where we draw the line. Do something like this again, and you're out. I'll hang the goddamn wanted posters myself. Understood? And I'll personally come here and put a bullet to your head and kill the rest of your crew. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I did try to persuade them, but I just failed all the persuasion checks, man. Okay. Um... Maybe there was another option that I missed. Ah, right, whatever. Uh, understood. I'll do everything I'm empowered to avoid taking innocent. Yeah, this is true. Or just first time. What if uh, not doing what the fleet wants blows my cover? That's a fair question. <clears throat> Actually, can you remind me of... No. The Crimson Fleet is motivated purely by material wealth. Bloodshed is typically a side effect of getting what they want. I believe you're fully capable of avoiding the need to take a life. But if it jeopardizes the mission... We'll evaluate when the time comes. Well, that was a situation where we <laughs> it would jeopardize, jeopardize the mission. All right, I'm going to do everything in my power to avoid taking innocent lives. Well said. Let's hope the next time your actions match the integrity of your words. All this ugliness aside, were you at least able to join the fleet? Yep. What the hell, man? Why didn't Sarah back me up? That's messed up, man. Looks like I passed the first test. Of course I did exactly what they asked of me. We'll find out when I see them next. I'm gonna go with the middle choice. Yes, if nothing else, your actions, while reprehensible, will put to bed any suspicions they may have had. Let's focus on that and move forward with the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Okay. Our files indicate she's second in command. So getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. So it looks like I'm, uh, I'm eventually, eventually going to have to uh, make a choice. Stay with the, uh, the security fleet here, or join the Crimson Pirates probably. In which case, then these guys will be after my ace. What would Han Solo do? Okay, everything's going according to plan. These, those idiots don't suspect a thing. Just pay me so I can get out of here. Alright, what do you know about Neva? A woman has a record that could stretch across Sol and back. She started young as one of Neon's street rats and worked her way up to second in command. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. I wonder if she's hot. <laughs> Alright, those idiots don't suspect a thing. That's where you're wrong. You can believe in honor among thieves, but I venture they suspect everyone until proven otherwise. You just need to make sure you allay any suspicions they have. Staying within the proper moral boundaries, of course. Do what you have to, but not what you can't do. The Crimson Fleet has yet to leave us enough hard evidence to build a solid case against them. Be careful not to underestimate their intelligence. So, what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Yeah, it looks like these uh, have displayed even more incompetence. So, they're like a renowned, infamous pirate fleet, but you have no, uh, no evidence against them. That's hilarious. I was told to meet Neva at the key. 
I got coordinates to the Crimson Fleet. Lied. They wanted to meet at Europa again. So if I really wanted to join the Crimson Fleet, I would do this. Man, pirate mission sounds so cool, though, doesn't it? But being a pirate requires to kill a bunch of innocent people, and um, our hero wouldn't do that. Maybe if I... Well, F. When I definitely play another playthrough, I'll be like a scoundrel, like a borderline evil guy. All right, I was told to meet Neva at the Key. Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Agreed. The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I don't disagree, but it's important to know your enemy and the best way to defeat them. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Now they're praising me. So much faith placed upon the shoulders of a humble miner. The Regana went fubar. I'd like to say it gets easier, but it won't. I appreciate that. Based on your actions, I've heard this operation's on thin ice. One more mishap, and I'm afraid we're gonna have to shut it down. So this is what's gonna happen, guys. If I just fail the operation and these um automatically whatever, I'm just gonna join the pirates. Why not? All right, let's continue on with this mission. She loves that. She must be afraid of elevators or something. Yeah, this game is so much fun, man. How many of you guys out there are playing the game? I hope some of you guys are at least early access right now. Yeah, warm up the engines. I'm not going to take the time to talk to her yet. Undock. I think controlling the ship would be easier with the controller, analog stick. Alright, so let's make sure I had the quest. Rook meets King. It is highlighted, okay. Open up our maps. Figure out where we gotta go. I guess she's not in this solar system, so let's go further out. All the way over here. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to jump there. I don't have... Red line means no fuel, I guess. Not enough fuel. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to go to Olympus first. Set the course. <laughs> we can't, we, we're just out of range of uh, Arena, so we'll go to Olympus. Alright, jump. So as it turns out, it's not that you have to turn off the engines for the grab drive. Like, if you look underneath laser, ballistics and all that, see that empty um, gauge right there? That's how much energy I have in reserve. I just don't have any energy uh, for the grab. So if I'm right, if I were to say lower lasers, how do I lower lasers? Yeah, I see down there. And that might be just enough to get me um, uh, to be able to uh, ramp up my grab drive. Yeah. Initiating. So I do I need to refuel now. Now in Olympus. It's a space station. Kinda wanna check it out. Let's go check it out, why not? So the prompt to dock and all that doesn't happen automatically. You have to um you have to open your scanner. All right, let's try hailing them. I hear nothing. Or maybe you have to target them. Maybe you can only target using, um... I don't know. Let's 
still nothing. Oh, I could dock. Maybe it's abandoned. Maybe this is something I could like uh, just explore and like pillage. Okay, so you gotta get close enough to get that. Nope, no, no. Looks kind of like a big wet area. Ooh. There's not atmosphere. It's a ghost. Kind of looks like a hotel. I feel like I'm floating. Enemies. Combat! I'm just kind of floating around, man. Oh man, they hurting me. I have no cover, man. Oh god. Got him. Zero grab. Combat, I need to I need to handle this better. All right, here we go. Wow, when they hit you, you get knocked back. Huh? Okay, my shotgun is slow reloading. Let's try this again. You dead bastard. Spacer, huh? So what's a spacer? They just attacked me, didn't even like talk or nothing. Maybe shotgun's not the way to go here. I guess he has like a shield or something. Alright. Try to take these guys on one at a time. Yeah, I, I want a long range weapon. Gotta be careful. Okay. Was he taking cover from me or was he just positioned to shoot at Sarah? I am missing like a bitch. Oh, I'm almost dead. Alright, that guy's dead. Let's go ahead and heal. Let's go ahead and brick save. Alright, where's my other gun? I did put my other gun on a hot bar. Alright, hold on. I think an automatic weapon would be the thing to do. Let's go with the modified Maelstrom. That's one tanky bastard. This gun is not accurate at all. This guy is the tankier one. He's kind of just sitting there. Yeah, I like how uh, you get pushed back. When you're shooting your gun. Alright, I'm just gonna go in for a hit with a shotgun. Uh. Shotgun does good damage, but hmm, it's just hard to use when the mobility is like weird. Where'd he go? He's running. Maybe he's out of ammo. The adrenaline is making my hand shake. How much mid how many mid-packs do I got? Space Punk! Dead! He's not dead. Alright, there's three more. Pistol's better for long range than a shotgun. Just about dead. Come on! I am missing like crazy. And I am drinking these health packs like cr nothing, man. Alright! My pistol leveled up. There's two more, though. I think I'm safe uh, enough to loot this guy, though. Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. I think they're on another level, though. Alright, let me go ahead and loot all this stuff. What's this floating stuff? Uh, I think these are aids. You know, healing, curing. I think I already looted this one. Yeah. Too bad it doesn't tell me that I already looted. Oh, they're back! You. 
Just one guy going for the kill. Ah! No ammo! Load! Run! Ah! ah. Why isn't he reloaded? Got him! He's dead. It's like one more person somewhere around here. I think he's either above me or below me. I'm just wondering what the point of coming here was. That looks like a vault. Is this a bank or a casino or something? It's beyond like protective glass. Found you. Strafe in midair. Boom, two shotgun blasts killed him. All right, they're all dead now. This gambling machine looks functional. If we could find the missing numbers, perhaps we'd be able to win the jackpot for ourselves. Gambling machine. Numbers. There's probably a chance for loot here. If only I knew where she was. So this must be the gambling floor down here then. So whatever their uh, um, grav, gravity drive machine, whatever, is probably busted. That's why there's no gravity right now. Where are you, Sarah? All right, let's go floor by floor. So that's the bar. Could probably find some booze. Can I not get in here? Here we go. As far as vermin goes, I'm slop space and right in between rats and cockroaches. Oh, grenades. Okay, that's it for this uh, level. Go up one. I want to find this gambling machine, man. I want the loot. Scanning is not necessary. Something was hi highlighted in here. Maybe that's the gambling machine? Maybe this is just like a chest. Got a lot of stuff in here. This is quite a find. Yeah. Manager's computer. So she was talking about like permanently reduced fuel needed for a graph jump by 1%. Skill bonus acquired. Cool. So it was totally worth coming here, man. So she said something about numbers. I bet we could find them here. All right. Uh, reviews. I'm just scanning for numbers. I'm not going to read this. I had a match three and made luck on it. Maybe luck is on my side. So Surprise uh, so quickly fades to disappointment as my payout is something surprisingly tangible. It is an official casino marked coin. Jackpot combination. Here we go. 12, 19, 36, 5. I'm going to write this down because I'm not going to remember that. Good thing I got my notepad just right here. All right. Now we just got to find the stupid machine that she was talking about. Oh. Can I just ask her? It's you and me. Maybe another time. Oh, the safes. She called a gambling machine. Lock is too difficult. Oh, this is for lock picking. All right, I can pick this one. All right, let's see if I get this. First try, first try. I, you know what, I'm gonna quick save. <laughs> Just in case I have to cheese this bastard. All right. I can put it here and it looks like I could probably put this one over here. Yeah, I could do that. So let's do this one. All right. This can only go here. Yeah, this is gonna work. Boom! Give me the money! Med pack. All right. Master. I just can't do it yet. All right, so that was definitely not the uh, gambling machine she was referring to. You think there'd be a lot of gambling machines? System error. Emergency. Alright, I'll cut to when I find them a gambling machine. Okay, I just noticed this little passageway here. Let's see where this goes. It'd be nice if Sarah would just tell me what the gambling machine was. It looks like a server room. Up. Oh, come on now. Oh, this looks like a beefy chest here. Contraband cash! Xeno Warfare Tech Sentient AI Adapters. 
You picked up a contraband item. Oh, these are illegal to have on, on, on you are your ship. Security ships orbiting major settlements will scan your ship for contraband and will not let you land until you scan is complete. You have a chance of smuggling contraband past them. If you fail, you could be arrested. Oh, that might not be worth it. Is that also contraband? Let me just see. New items. Berserker calibrator. No. Is there anything? Oh, yeah, that's what this means. That right there. All right, I'm going to discard it. How to drop it? I'm going to drop all the contraband until I figure out how to sell contraband anyway. Okay, so this was... Ah! What are you doing? She's on me. I can't move. Move. That's a lot of contraband, man. I bet it's good stuff, though. Jack pack back bend? Back end? Oh, this must have been what she was talking about. Alright, so the numbers were... 12. 19. 36 and 5. Payout. I did it! And I missed how much I got. Alright, let's get out of here and uh, go talk to the pirate lady. Nava, whatever her name is. I wonder if you automatically refuel whenever you stop somewhere. Alright, let's open up the star map. And see how far we can get this time. Okay, looks like I can't. I, all right, looks like I did get more fuel. All right, let's go to Cheyenne. I can't set the course here. All right, there we go. Oh, it sets up my gra energy and grab drive. It does it automatically. Excellent! Alright. Let's not delay any further. Let's go ahead and make the next jump. Let's go all the way out. And... We could almost get there. So if we go here, we could probably get to there. Okay. Mahio! I'm getting experience just from traveling. I can't respond, I'm leaving! Ah, oh, this is so much fun. The sense of wonder is staggering. Alright, so... We're with the neighborhood now. Alright, we can finally jump here. Let's go! Right through the planet. Yeah, you automatically refuel every time you stop. Alright, that's cool. I wonder if it costs me money. I wonder if we're opening like a war hole, uh, a wormhole or something. Because time dilation doesn't seem to be a concern. Alright, we're here. So this is a pirate place now. The key location discovered. It's gonna kind of be hard to remember like places I'm, you know, bypassing opportunities I didn't take. Like, uh, okay, I know that was a, like Phobos on Mars or something, or Europa. Where is it? The one that was like doing like bounty hunter stuff. Stop. All right, let's just dock. I don't want to hit nothing. <laughs> See if I remember to go straight to my cockpit next time. Got you caught. Now get out of my face. You said the tank was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. Ooh, someone did someone dirty. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. Not my problem. I think they're gonna fight. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Ooh. Oh. 
gross display of violence. Are you kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, don't mind me. Hey, I don't mind. Steal from me and get caught. Better off dead. That guy looks so cool. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. Do you mind if I loot him? The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Sort of. Sorry. Extrovert, that's me. I just want to see what the options are anyway. I'm sorry. I had my own affairs. Job's done. Why did you why? Did you miss me? <laughs> nice to finally put a face to the name. Sweetheart, princess, whatever. Maybe for you. I'd rather shove a shotgun up my nose than remember the face of every low-life rook who passes through this station. But all that aside, you made it. So now you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This Are you floating serious? scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Can't wait to explore this place. Looks good. Looks like a good place for some R&R. &R. <laughs> place looks like a real dump. I better really piss you off to UC off that you stationed here. The Crimson Fleet took over an entire UC star station? Wow. Sure did. Right out from under their noses. Way before you or I were born, though. We've held this station for a very long time. Yet they still don't have any evidence. Don't worry. Delgado will tell you all about it. Alright, that's the head honcho, right? Looks like a good place for some R&R. &R. Look at that smile. Hell yeah it is. Just watch it back when you do. Cred sticks tend to disappear around here, if you catch my meaning. We'll be certain to keep a close watch on our belongings. She really anyway, stands out, doesn't she? I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Luck. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key, uh, cute, huh? Yeah, very. Hello, everyone. I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this is Galact Talk. My guest tonight is one of the most notorious criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of the self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Hope this doesn't take too long. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then grav jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Well, I'm sure you're not surprised that your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. Do they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Crix is moving on to bigger and better things in his life? That's spot on, Gale. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly what your particular leap I'm just gonna let this go on just a little bit longer. In due time. There's no rush. In fact, I'd say we have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever you like. Oh. <laughs> All right, then. Perhaps the best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your yeah, career. Yeah, this sounds like it's going to go on for a while. Please. If I was playing this for myself, I would definitely listen to it, but... Yeah. Oh, it just stopped. Maybe that was it. Probably multiple parts if we find it around the ship. 
now. We've got everything the fleet needs right here. <laughs> of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are key. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. <laughs> this here is Jasmine. Hey, Jazz. If you need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. Probably needs some repairs. We've been next since these doors have given out on us. Okay. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Weapon shop. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook. Well, you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. So this like the store After front. the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. Hey, Zuri. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuroamps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Neuroamps. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. <laughs> Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. I don't think you're getting your money. Right. Find, you've got Bradley probably got from the it. trade authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy no much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Misra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you know? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova. Bog serves watered down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station the Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Shinya, how you doing? new rook, Neva. I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. All right, Neva. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss. The official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. <laughs> and no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. You don't say. 
All right, so I'd say that was extreme. Uh, that's got to be get infected. Just set me up so I can start making money. Yeah, this is us. How's the bomb in your chest empower? Yeah, how's it empowering? That's such a strange thing to say. I see the bomb as a symbol of my importance, and it's a constant reminder to everyone of the sacrifice I was willing to make. The freedom I've given up, the pain, it's not something that just anyone has the resolve to bear. He sees that bomb as a badge of honor. I see it as a symbol of compliance. Tell God who is a harsh master. I see it as a symbol of uh, as someone um, that didn't get enough hugs from the mama, and now I can't face him. Okay, just set me up so I can start making money. No, no. See, it doesn't work that way. I gotta pay. You new members have no patience, no appreciation for history. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Alright, I could see that. Yeah, Delgado doesn't sound like a smart man. I bet you don't get out much. <laughs> I don't think I can make a sacrifice like that, so one wrong move and you're dead. Essentially. But I sleep soundly knowing I'm one of the few that can piss Delgado off and live. Should I die, all of my knowledge, the accounts, the credits, it would be a mess. He wouldn't dare. Silver lining, he I guess. holds the trigger. But we all know that my death cripples the fleet. Call the bomb a weapon of last resort. He's probably going to be a key figure in our investigation. All right, well, he sounds like a smart man. It's why he's the boss. Of course. I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my ribcage. It's under your ribcage. was smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Ryujin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. Very much this cyberpunk. allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run of the mill cyber runner. There, you're done. Sweet. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. One of us. Time to make those credits. It's about time. That was easy. Any other modifications I need to know about? Yeah. None. Other than my chest and arm modifications. I am but a simple man. Is the interview over now? Can we get back to work? I felt like I was the one being interviewed in a way. Alright, time to make those ducats. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs all Right, available. steady work. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. All right, sounds like well, we're do uh, we're, we'll be doing uh, a lot of business together. What kind of jobs? Oh, you know, smuggling, piracy, taking things that aren't yours. Nothing that should keep you up at night. Well, depending on your methods. Okay, sounds like we'll be doing a lot of business together. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. No, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. I'm not stupid. She's in Vanguard recruiting. All right, listen up. So you can all expect stop a sales pitch when you need him. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. They seem like a really tight knit bunch. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the video there. I'm glad we got to do some stuff. Got to see pirates, talk to pirates, negotiate with pirates, join the pirates even. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next episode. Yeah, we're really gonna sink our teeth into this. I'm so excited. I hope you're excited too. I hope you're playing the game or plan to play the game because it's totally worth it. But anyways, have a lovely day. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next episode.